Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for August. Uh, feel free to jump out to the start of the reading, guys. It is time stamped. So this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to uh, see me shuffle on camera. Okay, so we're gonna take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. Just see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, of course, vice versa as well. Gonna take these in, clarify them also on offline, um, and then call, cool, and then I'll, I'll be back. So, Cancer, let's start your reading, and of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys. <clears throat> I'm picking up as this being your side person that you're dealing with over here but you can always you can always kind of switch flip whatever side just kind of resonates the most and of course feel free to check out your other readings for the month guys which should be pinned in the corner of the screen all right so if you're showing up as tonight so with, with this situation this hesitancy around this for you um more so is coming from a place of being cautious really um yeah very bit, bit cautious with how with more so with expressing how you feel because you're definitely thinking about establishing something with this person you know thinking about what you've already established with them and actually building on top of that you know establishing something more more meaningful even more cemented i'm getting more cemented more solid um, but you do have your boundaries up this guard you're guarded with that queen there hence the hesitate hesitancy um your person, your person is showing up as the queen. So they're showing up as being very supportive, very understanding, um, emotionally mature as well. That might just kind of explain that they're very emotionally mature. Seeing you as someone who's very highly attractive, king of um, wands there. But at the same time, we do have that hangman. So maybe that's where your hesitancy is coming from as well. Kind of picking up on what they're, kind of feeling because yes they've got the hangman but they've also got that hierophant there so there's just unanswered questions that they're needing to answer ask their self and have answers uh, to those cancer hermit mode talks about you know going internally asking yourself those important questions analyzing processing yeah because it seems like you guys have, it, it's like as soon as you've met or at some point within this connection, it's like I'm attracted to you, you're attracted to me, this person wanted to rush and move this forward. Strong pull towards you with the page of wands there. And and, and, and you kind of then, you see them as being very much highly attractive, that queen of wands matching that king there. Also, they could also, you could, yeah, also, <clears throat> rewind. You can also see this person as someone that, this has a you know a plethora of admirers, people that admire them, that are attracted to them. This person could be highly attractive cancer. So that also might add to the hesitancy around just maybe it drums up or brings up insecurities because we do have that moon card there um, and the Ten of Wands, which talks about some form of just burden um, regarding this Queen of Wands, this highly attractive person. It's like they've got it going on. They've got their ish together, so to speak. But at the same time, you wanting to, you know, take this down a new road, you know, move into some form of commitment or some form of, again, we go back to that um, solidness, this uh, foundation or building some form of solid. I keep feeling, getting this solid type of big thing here. Cemented this relationship, let's say that. They happen to be going through, um, but there was questions around that for you as well. Deep questions, we've got the Hermit card again. But still determination, there was an, uh, a level of, okay, I've got to be strategic in terms of just how I move, how I handle this. 
your person though, they were going through this transformation, change, big change with the death card there, with at the same time kind of losing something with that five of, of cups. So I feel like this person was moving away from something willingly. Uh, I don't feel like this person was kicking or screaming. Definitely willingly. Uh, it just so happens that you met at a certain time that allowed this person to really kind of move move ahead or embrace this transformation while accepting this loss that they're feeling when it comes to maybe a past person, <clears throat> even if that past person wasn't physically present or physically around, it's more uh, maybe energetically as well, just within their energetic fields. Um, they have to be present with someone in order for you to, you know, still be energetically connected um so yeah which brings us to you know kind of where we are at the moment the challenge around this is we do have the okay yes we've got the hermit cost like i said this person is in deep contemplation certain questions answers things that need to be processed yes high commitment is on their mind with the high priestess there but also that could represent just having higher wisdom or knowledge maybe through experience or um education or maybe advice from others or one person. Um, so there's this awareness of higher commitment or I, I feel like that's more about wisdom due to ex past experience. It's like, I know more, I understand more, um, which causes them to just slow things down. It's like, okay, I'm gonna slow things down. I'm gonna rush this. Nice and easy wins the race. My intention is to move away from whatever it is, energetically, emotionally, whatever um towards that ninth cup ninth cup represents emotional happiness you know being happy ultimately the challenge really is is once they've made that transition and that's what's coming up for me is is what once they've made that transition that change now what that's kind of what i'm feeling it's like now now what because it's it's i don't want to use the word rebound because it's not necessarily that it's more about you having met this person and you're both very much attracted to each other the attraction is not the point here um i'm just you know we've got the hermit card popping up for both of you but yours is more about whether this person's gonna accept your advances accept your proposal whatever that proposal is and this person digesting or questioning where they're at internally just within their life and what it is that they're wanting that's the question they're kind of still in that mode of answering themselves those questions and coming coming to some form of finalization finalization good gosh um finalization on that uh, they haven't gotten to that point yet so my my thing is is okay so once they've gotten to that point then what are they still gonna want what they want ultimately that's the question. So we're going to move into the extended version, see where this moves to, have those questions answered. Uh, link is in the description bar below, guys, and I shall see you guys in a bit.